Hey everybody, this is Free Sky Steve. I do welcome you back to the channel. Today is a quick tip video. We're going to discuss what those things are next to that red slider in the center of this radio. That's actually pot three, not really a slider, but we, I call it a sliding pot. Uh, but to the left and the right, there are these six buttons, and from time to time, people lost. may wonder what they do and why they're on your transmitter. Those things are called function switches, and I'm going to show you how to use them, and they are quite useful, but I will give you the caveat. Take a close look at this image before we uh, click off of them, and that is you can see that these function switches are recessed in the radio so the idea is if you're flying by braille you don't accidentally push them in by mistake uh, so these are the kind of things that you're best off by looking at there's quite a few uses you can have for them if you have a plane where you can't afford to look down even for a second you can still use these for before and after flights so there's usage for these things it's just the best way to find them is to find those big round knobs on the bottom of the transmitter and to, they're just right next to them as you get to closer towards the middle of the transmitter you should be able to f f at least feel where they're located at and maybe kind of feel where the top one is so you can maybe press it if you get so good at it you can figure a way around uh, that being said I wouldn't put anything on there that can drastically change the trajectory of your flight they're probably best used for things like telemetry but I'm going to take you through I'm going to show you a couple different uses for these things so we are going to get into the ethos simulator right here and I want to show you one thing before we go any further and that is when we talk about switches we usually talk about them under the this icon right here which is the gear icon it's the same thing as SYS you go into hardware right here and you see something that says switch settings and you go down the list and there's no function switches and you're like hmm, that's interesting so you can do a lot of different things with these switch settings here, but function switches are not one of them. So what we do is function switches are actually found in the model. So we hit the airplane icon, same as model. And where would you find them in here? And what's interesting is that they're really well hidden in edit model. All the way to the bottom, it's about the third from the very bottom here. Say one, two, well, a little bit further up. This thing called function switches right here. This is where you would find everything. And so I'm going to go through this list and explain to you what each of these different things are. Six position switch. Imagine you, you work with three way switches all the time. You know what those things are. Just imagine if your three way switch was actually a six way switch and it works exactly the same, which means that if you have it in one position the other five positions are not working so you can only select one position at a time cool you got that figured out right this one's different I'm glad we started off with this one because usually what this means is you select one position the other five are off however if you select that position again then it also turns off as well which means everything's off so an interesting choice right there I don't know if there's a lot of need for that but it's out there six position switch is a little bit easier to understand all that it means is that you select one thing uh, one switch position so if you press function switch one for example the other five function switches will not light up only the function switch one will light up and then if you were to jump to function switch five next, then that function switch light uh, five would light up and everything else would be off. And what's neat about that is you can do a jump without having to make stops in between. So you don't have to go to function switch two, function switch three, function switch four before you get to five. 
and therefore you won't get all the call outs for all the voices and you know it there are some benefits to it um then there's two three position switches i'm gonna go back to the actual photo of the radio and you can see that looks like to the left and to the right of the slider you can see the groups of three the idea behind this if you press one of those buttons the other two won't work on the left however it has nothing to do with the three on the right so on that one you can select one and the other two won't work on that side either so it's like having through two three-way switches and very convenient okay and then let's see six two position switches that's this is even better it means each one of those switches can be turned on and off so th they're independent switches of, from each other and that's great for something where you want to have it do different things so for example a good example for this would be uh, somebody who has let's say an RC truck and those trucks I mean, people spend insane amounts of money for those radio controlled trucks and they want to be able to push a button and the lights go on and then they also want to push that button again and the lights go off so they can look down they can have six different sets of lights come on and they can look down the transmitter to see which ones are on which ones are off interesting and last but not least is momentary momentary is like what you have in the back of your transmitter you press it and hold it in it works you let go it doesn't work so that's all the function switches now when we look at them inside of mixes i've already set up one in elevators so if we go inside of here instead of using switch positions like we normally do where it would be switch a up would be a switch position we can go back to function switches and the function switches will work the same way so I can have different expos by pressing the function switches so this one could be 30 this one can be say 60 and this one could be oh let's get really big let's say 80 all right so you press a function switch you'll have some really heavy expo depending on which one of the function switches you select okay neat um when we go into special functions a lot of these things you'll see that function switches i'm going to go in here we have not set anything up so i can have it to play an audio track and then enable it and I can act condition could be a function switch, right? And if I press function switch one in and I come down here, skip on startup, add a new line and sequence, play file, and then I would have it play flaps too, for example. So you can have function switches kind of act like normal switches as well in this situation. In logic switches, they work as well, but they only seem to work when you get into you can see that you have switches here right but what I found is interesting is there's no function switches so it's not really you can't use a function switch as part of a logical condition as a source but you can use it for your active condition and so with all that in mind, there's a lot that you can do with the function switches. It really is up to you if you find any use for it. Uh, the two uses I find to be the most useful for RC pilots, I think I mentioned this before, you can use them for setting your gains. And then I've actually used function switches when I needed a four position switch where I had four different flight modes. I figured that I can set the first flight mode up on a flight on a function switch so that was my takeoff flight mode and once I got in the air I set up a logical condition so that it jumped to the um, high rates right after I was done after I pointed the nose down on the plane that would cause it to jump into high rates and from high rates I was able to do a bunch of different things so yeah overall 
function switches are useful. I don't know if it's really going to change your life. Uh, for the most of us, you know, my personal flying style, I don't run out of switches, so it's not like I'm looking for other things to use in lieu of the switches that I've used up. But everyone's different, and maybe you can find some practical use for it. And But there it is. That is an overview of the function switches. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.